It has occurred to me there are a couple different methods while you're doing bounty hunter missions, while you're doing trader delivery missions, and while you're doing moonshine delivery missions, where you can prevent NPCs from spawning and attacking you while you're on those missions. And the first thing we're looking at is the bounty hunter mission. And that one's done a little differently than the trader and the moonshine one. And what we want to do is we want to get our bounty. And once we get it, we hog tie it and knock it out. Okay, you don't have to knock, knock it out. You could just hog tie it and leave it awake. Or you could kill it. You know, those are all options. But if you hog tie it and knock it out, then it will not wake up and get untied. Now, I know this works with the reinforced lasso. I don't know about the regular lasso, if you can knock them out and get away with them not waking up. But if you knock them out while they are hogtied with the reinforced lasso, they will not wake back up. And that is important because what we're going to be doing with this guy is we're going to be putting him on the back of our horse, obviously, right? Yeah, you're thinking like, well, duh. But we're not going to want to ride our horse with the NPC. Because when you get on the horse while the bounty target is on the horse, that registers in the system that you are on the move with the bounty and it spawns a wave of NPCs, which I'm going to show you that here in a moment. Sometimes even when you pick them up, it will register that you're on the move with the bounty target and spawn them in. However, this mission here, it did not happen until after I got it on the horse and then hopped on the horse. And I'm going to show you again later uh, another example of this too and also with the you know with the trader and stuff obviously we don't have a bounty target so things are a little different with the trader and the moonshine but we'll get to that in a moment so you can see on the screen now some npcs have spawned they're attacking me what you want to do here is kill two of them and then before you kill the third one be prepared to catch his horse okay i'm going to kill him and then immediately get my lasso out chase his horse down stop it and once I get on his horse, instead of my own horse, nail the system as far as it knows, I'm not moving with the bounty target. So I can go anywhere I want on the map at this point without any more NPCs spawning and attacking me. I whistle, I get my horse to follow me with the bounty target, and then I run around. Now the only downside is, when you're doing that on a stolen horse, you cannot give it tonics. So if while you're doing this you see some wild horses, go break one. And then once you've broken it, you'll be able to use tonics, feed it, those kinds of things. You can see the item wheel is opened up for me to be able to feed the horse and give it tonics, which is really useful because if you're on a stolen horse or a broken horse, you know, obviously it's not going to be bonded up. It's not going to have a lot of stamina. So if you're running across the map, it's going to be really, really, really nice to be able to give it tonics so you don't have to deal with, you know, its core disappearing or whatever. And you can see this entire mission now. As long as I don't get back on my horse with the bounty target, not a single NPC spawns in the tax man. Go all the way from Rascolor Fork to Armadillo. But look here, as a demonstration, before going into Armadillo, I got back on my horse with the NPC. And as soon as I did, enemies spawned in and I had to gun them down. So, you know, that's the example of why they spawn, when they spawn, and how to keep them from spawning. Then you can run around and pick collectibles up while you're running your timer down. You don't have to worry about a gunfight. Now let's get into the trader role. It's a little different with trader here because obviously, you know, we already have a wagon. So that's convenient. And there's no bounty target. So like, well, what are you putting on your horse? The key here is when a wave of NPCs spawn, another wave doesn't spawn until that first set of NPCs has either despawned or been killed. So now what you want to do is you want to kill all but one of them and then you want to lasso the remaining one alive and put it on your horse and then have your horse follow you on the wagon and that will prevent another wave of NPC spawning the only thing to consider when you're doing this though is sometimes your horse will lag behind so you do have to keep an eye on it on the mini map and make sure your horse doesn't fall too far behind because if it does fall too far behind, the NPC that's lasted on the back of your horse will despawn. And when it despawns, then another wave will come in. So make sure you keep an eye on the mini-map. And if you need to, all you have to just whistle for your horse again in order to keep it with you. And I'm going to show you here in a little bit, just, uh, you know, like 30 seconds or so, it actually happens to me 
where my horse falls behind for, I don't even know why it does it, but for some reason it just falls behind and I have to whistle for it. And fortunately I noticed before the horse got too far away. Now see the horse just stopped there for no reason that I'm aware of. And I didn't really notice until after I got past the tracks here. And then I was like, oh crap, I almost lost my horse. I whistled for it. Fortunately it had not gone too far away. I mean like we're just right on the border too. If I'd gone just a little bit further, that NPC would have despawned and I would have had more attacking me. But fortunately, I caught it in time. And at the end of the mission, it happens again. And the NPC does actually despawn because I didn't notice in time. But that's okay because I'm actually at the end of the mission when this happens. And it doesn't matter. Because, oh, I ran into a collector here too. A rival collector is an encounter where you can guaranteed get a collectible by killing the rival collector and looting them. So that was kind of a nice little perk on the ride. But, you know, and in a moment here, you're going to see, I'll get to the end of the mission, and I only had that one single wave of NPCs attack me during the entire delivery. And that was a long-distance delivery from Gap Tooth Ridge to Hennigan's Stead. And basically, you're going to want to do the same thing when it comes to running a moonshine delivery. When you get to the revenue checkpoint... If they don't let you pass, stop before the checkpoint. Because if you pull up, you know, like, they might still let you pass. But if they don't, there's a good chance your wagon's going to get shot. It's going to get damaged. So kill all of them except for one. And lasso them. And then once you have them lassoed, you don't have to knock this guy out. If you knock him out, I'm pretty sure that it will cause a respawn. So you need to keep him alive and awake. And then just put him on your horse. And get back on your moonshine wagon. Whistle your horse so the horse follows you, and you won't get any more NPCs spawning and attacking you, which is incredibly nice, especially on moonshine missions, because, you know, we all know how big of a pain in the butt it is when one of them shoot one of your jugs of moonshine. Like, that's like my biggest pet peeve with running moonshine is when a revenue agent shoots a bottle. So, no more of that. We're done with that. We figured out how to fix it, and... You know, surely Rockstar at some point, somehow, will probably end up nerfing this. But for the time being, it works. So I hope this helps you out. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Or if you've been around a while, share it with someone who is new. I appreciate you coming by. I'll catch you all next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails.